my channel. Today I have a 4th of July themed video for you guys and I'm going to show you everything from nails, hair, makeup, and outfit. So I'm pretty sure this is how I am going to dress slash do my hair and makeup for 4th of July. So let me know what you guys think and if you already know what you're going to be doing for this 4th of July, let me know in the comments below. So usually I just stay with my parents and we go to the park and just camp out and kind of just chill the whole entire day. We bring food um, and we just relax and enjoy each other's company. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys do for 4th of July and I think we are ready to get started with a video. So I actually am going to start with the nails first before we do hair and makeup. So for the nails you will need a base coat, a top coat, a red nail polish, a blue nail polish, and then a silver sparkly glitter nail polish. So the first thing you want to do is apply your base coat to protect your nails and then take the red nail polish and paint two coats on all of your nails except your ring finger. You want to leave that one um, blank because we are going to paint that nail blue. So once you're done with two coats of red, you're going to take your blue nail polish and paint two coats onto your ring finger. And while that's drying, I'm going to apply a top coat to all of the red nails. Now that the blue is dry, we can add our silver glitter, which kind of looks like stars, and then add a top coat. And this nail look is now complete. Super easy and super festive. So now it's time for the hair, and my hair right now is just at such an awkward stage. There's no shape to it, so I really just want to get it all off of my face. So I'm going to create a side part and then create a Dutch braid on one side. Once I've created my Dutch braid, I just like to pull on it a little bit to make it a little bit bigger and more full. And then on the other side, I'm just going to clip it back with a few bobby pins, and that is it for the hair. So now we can begin with the makeup. So I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Make sure that you get it in your hand. And once you have it on your hand, you can go ahead and apply it all over the face. So now I'm going to use a BB cream. And this is my current favorite from Laneige. It's the BB cushion. And it's really cool because it has this little door that you open like so and it has another cushion in there that is just full of the product so you just press your your little cushion puff in there and just apply it to your face and it gives you a really natural uh, finish and I just really really like it and if BB cream isn't enough you can go ahead and take a concealer and cover up any extra blemishes that you think you might have and clearly I think I have a lot <laughs> And now I'm just going to set everything with a powder to make sure that my makeup lasts all day and I don't have to worry about touching it up while I'm hanging out at the park with my family. And you guys already know how important I think it is to fill in your eyebrows. So I'm just going to use my Whitening Lightening Brow Bar to Go kit to fill in my eyebrows. And after that I'm going to take this Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in Playa del Pink and just apply that onto my lid and then blend it out with my finger. And to be honest, I would actually just go like this, but since it is 4th of July, I want to kick it up a notch, so I'm actually going to take a blue eyeliner. This one is from CoverGirl, and I'm going to create a wing eyeliner look on both of my eyes with the eyeliner, and I like to go over with go over the eyeliner with a blue eyeshadow to set the eyeliner just to make sure that it doesn't smudge or um, wipe off throughout the day. I meant to say smear off, not wipe off. Smear off throughout the day. So now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and apply this on the lower lash line and inner corner of my eye to add the white part. So red, white, and blue. This is where the white is going to go. And once I blend that out, I'm going to set it with a white eyeshadow right on top.
Okay, now you have to be careful with this next part because sometimes adding a red eyeliner or um, lip pencil close to your eye can cause irritation. So if you do notice irritation, make sure you take it off immediately. But my eyes don't really get sensitive, so I'm going to apply the red eyeliner on the outer part and then of course set it with a red eyeshadow. And then I'm also going to create a wing right under the wing that I already had. Now I'm just going to tight line my eyes to make my lashes appear a little more fuller with a black eyeliner. And then to make my eyes look more open and awake, I'm going to use my Rimmel London Scandalize Nude Eyeliner Pencil. Now time for mascara and the Cargo HD Picture Perfect Mascara has been my current favorite. I really, really like it. Oh. I hate when I do that, don't you just hate that? So my trick for that is to actually let it dry first and then you can remove it. My friend Crystal taught me that. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer and blush to my cheeks. And now to finish off this entire look, I'm going to use my favorite nude lip gloss from Whitening Lightning. And this actually has a little kind of flashlight type of thing to help you see if you're applying in dark places, which I'm not today, so this is kind of weird. But <laughs> anyways, I just really, really like the color. So that is it for this 4th of July themed makeup look. So now we can move on to the outfit. So here is the outfit that I think I'm going to wear for 4th of July. I don't know. Look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like it because it's fun, playful, and really comfortable. So um, let's go on to the details of my outfit. My shirt has this really fun ruffly texture and I got that from Wet Seal. My necklace is from Forever 21 and my denim jacket is from, I'm pretty sure Forever 21. And then my skater skirt with the floral pattern is from PacSun. So that is it for my, oh, my boots. My boots are from Charlotte Russe. I forgot to mention that. So that's it for this video. Woo! Okie dokie, so that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any more videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in case you didn't know my upload schedule. And yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment on what you thought of this video and what videos you'd like to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day.